I'm a long time listener. Morning. This is my first time calling. Um, I am 25 years old with two little kids under the age of three, and I was calling to ask about saving for college for both of them. Um, in Ohio, we have a 529 plan, but none of the funds are biblically responsible. So I would just like to have your advice on a way to save for college in a biblically responsible way. Well, I would probably uh, tell you that there's two things you can do. You can go to Timothy Plan. Uh, they have a Coverdale plan, but I, uh, that, that would help with that, biblically responsible. You can go to them and just open up a, a direct investment account and use their mutual funds, which would be a great idea. Or if you have an investment account or you can open an investment account, and use their ETFs. And I really like the idea of using their ETFs. You've got, uh, and what, what you would do, look, there's no real tax advantages, Ben, to uh, opening up an investment account and you earmarking that. So you, so you would open that account. It's just a joint investment account, you and your wife. Uh, even if you already have one, you would open up another one. And it would be, you know, that that's your children's college fund. And um, you can put them on it as beneficiaries in equal shares. But in the meantime, you know, that's their, um, that's their college fund. And I would use the Timothy ETFs uh, for the next 15 years. Uh, I would put 80, 70% uh, uh, of it in TPLC. TPLC, I'd put 10% in TPSC, and I'd put the other uh, 20% TPHD. And basically, I would forget about it. And I would try to make contributions in the same way, as often as you can. And, and I don't mean size of contributions. Size of the contribution is somewhat irrelevant. I wouldn't want you to get hung up on, well, I can only put in $25. That's okay. Put $25 in. Whatever you can put in or their birthday money or monies they might get uh, here and there from grandparents or whatever. And, and uh, put it in like, just like I mentioned and leave it alone and not even look at it and not worry about it. And I think that's probably the best thing you could do. All right. Um, can I ask a follow-up question to that? Sure. So with the investment account, would that allow the money to remain um, liquid in the sense that if the children decide not to go to college or if college suddenly becomes free for everyone, it would be able to be used for other purposes than just educational expenses? Yes, and that's why I, and that's why I recommend that because of that, the flexibility so you're giving up some tax advantages that you might have with a 529 plan. But I think the flexibility, the liquidity, and the flexibility outweighs um, that. And I think, um, you know, it might be a benefit to them in the long run to not have any significant monies in their own name and I think that would be beneficial as well so yes you'd be totally flexible you could do whatever you want in you can give it say, say hey you know what they're going to college uh, they got scholarships and they're going to college free but you know I'll save this money I'll continue to contribute to it and we'll give it to them when they get married or when they want to buy a house, or whatever. So you have total flexibility, and that's a good thing. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.